dear students welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so on behalf of most of the students who have requested me to upload the passing package for analog electronic circuit subject for the triple e stream okay so finally i am with the passing package or important questions video for this particular subject it is subject code is bwe303 okay so as your exams are near now so i will just discuss the passing modules and important questions over here so let me take first the module fifth it is the passing module uh, by which uh, if you just cover the theoretical concepts over here you can easily gain 20 marks you can easily concur 20 marks from this module okay so important questions are uh, explain the construction working and characteristics of an n channel jfet okay so i have analyzed a lot of previous year question papers if you want question papers also for this particular subject i will definitely upload on my instagram account i have provided the link in the description box of the instagram you can follow us there so that you will uh, uh, acquire those uh, particular important questions or previous year questions uh, previous year question papers of this particular subject right so next is comparison between bjt and jfet or sometimes they will give you the difference between bjt and fet right so next is with neat sketches explain the construction operations and uh, characteristics of n channel depletion type mosfet or simply you can call it the d mosfet right so next is with sketches describe the constructional details of jfet and derive the expression for zi z0 and av for common source jfet amplifier with fixed bias okay now uh, the uh, question will be the uh, derivation will be there sorry derive an expression for saturation drain current of n channel jfet and last question but not least uh, probably it will come in the examination not probably but definitely it is uh, the important question over there that is comparison between d mosfet and e mosfet depletion type mosfet and enhancement type uh, most better over there so this is the possibility these are the uh, eight sorry seven questions which i have taken from the module fifth if you can cover if you are able to cover these questions uh, definitely you will get uh, 14 marks from this theoretical concepts okay if you want to practice problems also okay as i earlier mentioned you i will provide the papers on my instagram account you can go through a lot of previous year papers and practice some problems from those papers okay i hope you will do that so next is module four uh, with the circuit diagram explain the operation of wind bridge oscillator also derive its frequency of oscillation it may be the possible question from the module fourth over here right so next is with the help of circuit diagram explain the working of hartley oscillator with a neat diagram and waveform explain the operation of rc phase shift oscillator using bjt write the expression for frequency of oscillation okay with the neat diagram explain basic principle of operation of oscillators uh, and write the condition to obtain sustained oscillations okay this may be the possible question and again an important question that is draw the circuit diagram of a class b push pull amplifier and explain the operation with relevant waveforms so waveforms are very important one in these type of subjects okay you should focus on this and in the examination it carries a lot of wattage over there okay so next is comparison between rc phase shift and wind bridge oscillator with neat sketch explain different types of power amplifiers okay with a circuit diagram explain the transform couple uh, transformer couplet class a amplifier also derive the expression rl of rl obtain an expression for second harmonic distortion in a power amplifier using three point method so this is all about the model four and i have not counted it in the passing module as sometimes the uh, pro, uh, sorry uh, theory questions are not repeated over there now coming to the module third which is a passing module okay uh, comparatively it is easier than the model fourth over there so what are the advantages of negative feedback in amplifiers and also explain the characteristics of negative feedback amplifier okay draw the block diagram and explain the concept of feedback okay this is the most important question next is explain the cascade connections with the help of need diagram most important one super important question it is so next is uh, derive an expression for z i z naught and a i for a uh, darling uh, darlington emitter follower circuit okay write important characteristics of a darlington emitter follower okay this is important question for a current series feedback amplifier derive an expression for z i f and z o f and derive an expression for input resistance for voltage series feedback amplifier and also it will be the question to that how bandwidth of an amplifier increases with negative feedback okay so last question but not least uh, that is the for voltage shunt feedback amplifier topology obtain expression for rif and rof okay so this is all about the module third which is a passing module okay as there is only one gap between the exams so better to go for uh, these important questions okay if you are not able to cover all the syllabus so next is model first list the important applications of clipping and clamping circuits 
what is the clamping circuit explain the negative damping circuit with a uh, with and without reference voltage with necessary waveforms okay with need circuit diagram explain the self bias circuit write the necessary equations okay next define stability factor and derive the expression for stability factor of fixed bias circuit with respect to icu uh, next is explain the operation of transistor as a switch with suitable circuit and necessary waveforms draw a double ended clipper circuit and explain the working principle with transfer characteristics fine so uh, next question will be uh, what is bias stabilization explain with help of uh, load line the effect of variation of vcc ib on q point of a transistor right last question with circuit diagram and explain the voltage divider biasing circuit also derive the ib and vce okay so this is all about the module first okay so next is the module 2 which is also a passing module by, uh, in which you have to cover some important questions like state and prove miller's theorem it is not david miller of south africa please uh, don't mind that okay so it is the Mil uh, miller's theorem so next is comparison of characteristics of ce uh, cc and cb configuration with the help of uh, re equivalent model derive an uh, equation for zi z0 av for a emitter follower configuration next is starting from fundamentals it is the super important question dear friends also mark i can mark it as super important uh, that is uh, starting from fundamentals define h factor h parameters and obtain an h parameter equivalent circuit okay equivalent circuit uh, of common emitter configuration right advantage of h parameters okay the last question which may be there that is develop h parameter model for transistor amplifier hence draw h parameter model for cbc and cc modes were there on models okay so these are all the important questions which i mentioned here by analyzing the previous year question papers okay so i hope uh, this will definitely this content will definitely help you in passing the examinations over there so thanks for watching the video and all the best for your examinations